you tell us a little bit about uh, spawner sanctuaries? Uh, spawner sanctuaries are shellfish nurseries where we plant um, different shellfish, either hard clams or bay scallops, so that they could grow out in uh, relative safety away from harvesting and predators and spawn to create more uh, clams and Fantastic. scallops. Now we're going we're gonna to count the total amount of scallops. Okay. We're going to try to determine how many are dead by just the you know, so the you shell. 50, yeah. And then we're going to we're going to measure 50 per size. Well, so, we are psyched to be here in a shellfish nursery and we are here with Wayne Grothy from the Nature Conservancy and Adam Stark from the Nature Conservancy. This is fantastic. It's hard to believe that this is actually a nursery. Uh, Wayne, can you tell tell us a little bit about what kind of nursery this is that we're about okay, to see? Um, this site here is called Log Cabin Creek, and it's a nature, you know, it's part of the Nature Conservancy's Mishomic Preserve. And we've been growing uh, scallops, oysters, and clams here for the last five years to uh, put back into the bay to try to restore the shellfish populations. How do you grow shellfish? I don't get it. Pretty much all you do is put them in a cage and let them sit in the water, and they'll grow themselves. So how do you get the baby shellfish before then? We've worked in the past with Cornell Crop Extension. Uh, we've worked with other uh, shellfish hatcheries, uh, the town of Islip, the town of East Hampton, and we either buy or sometimes they actually donate the shellfish to the conservancy. How quickly do they grow? Uh, bay scallops grow, grow extremely fast. Uh, over the course of uh, three or four months, they'll grow from three millimeters all the way up to uh, 40 millimeters, and at that at that point, they're somewhat predator-proof, and then that's when we put them out into the eelgrass beds in the bay. They have to grow fast because they only have a two-year lifespan. Do a lot of them make it to the second year? Uh, in captivity, they do. We have them protected in these cages. That's why we're growing them. Uh, out in the wild, probably, you know, I, just a guess, maybe 70% are, are eaten by predators, for instance, or, or die from being washed up on a beach or, or something like that. What, what is it? Adam, do you find that anything's growing on these shellfish when you pull them up in the cages? Yeah, a lot of uh, invasive um, animals, mostly um, sea squirts and stuff that's been introduced in the last few years from Asia and other, other areas where they're more commonly found. Have you noticed an increase in this throughout the years? Uh, yeah, just in the last three years I've seen more more variety of different animals and more abundance too of each one. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate learning more about uh, where these shellfish come from and, and how to get them back into the environment. Uh, it'd be great to know more about ecosystem engineers. So these are some scallops that we've grown in our shellfish nursery. You guys want to check them out? There's some clams in there too. Why are they clapping? They uh, open and close their shells like that to swim around. What are these blue things inside? Those are their eyes. They're a sensory organ. Almost like an eye in a human. They can sense uh, predators and stuff. Does anyone know how old uh, these scallops that you're holding are? Less uh, than a year. That's right, and uh, how could you tell that? Due to the, the, the little ringies around the thingy, around the right. shell. These are uh, two-year-old scallops, so you can see the growth ring here, which are about the same size as that, those now. Um, they'll start, you know, they'll slow down their growth for the rest of the season, and then next, next summer they'll grow again. That's what that, that like the gap is there. Ones. Why are they different colors? Uh, that's more or less just a genetic thing um, from a hatchery. These are all raised in a hatchery. Um, do you guys know how they eat or what they eat? They filtered the water. Exactly, yeah, they're filter feeders. So they, they'll suck in water and filter out plankton and little animals and stuff for, for food. And that's, uh, that's what makes them what we call ecosystem engineers.